happy Friday. Today is Friday, July 24th, 2009. And our model, uh, calendar model of the day today is a painter's cap. It uh, uses regular paper, so uh, regular origami paper. So get your supplies uh, in hand and we'll get started right away. All right, so uh, what you want to do to begin this model is to fold your paper in half horizontally and then vertically. And then open it back up. And uh, on two opposite corners, doesn't matter obviously which one, just pick the two opposite corners, you're going to fold them in to the center point like this and then flip your paper around to the solid side to prepare for the next fold. Now with the uh, solid colored side facing you, you want to fold this piece in half and then open it back up and flip it back around like so. And between those diagonal folds that you, um, you made in the beginning and that one fold that you just made along the center, you'll see that the piece uh, starts can, to close in on itself. So you're going to encourage it to do so all the way. So folding along all those lines and when you do that it will close down to something that looks like this. So again, here's our piece you're going to be basically pushing in on this part and down on this part so that when you end up your piece will look like this. Now you're going to reverse it around so that the part that you're seeing right now is on the inside and the part that's hidden is on the outside and the way that you do that is to take the flat one flap on one side and fold it over the top so that you have a solid portion now in view. Flip it around and do the same thing on this side. Take one flap, fold it over so that you have the solid part in view. So now what you've done is reverse what was on the outside is now to the inside. And what was on the inside is now on the outside and you have solid color on both sides. Now take the top one, the top part of this square and the side points and fold them to the center like this. And then flip your piece around so that the white part is to the bottom and the flaps that are now to the back here on the back side you're going to fold those forward as well and tuck them underneath the top flap. So fold this to the front and tuck it underneath. Like this. Now next step, take the top flap, this very bottom point of the top flap, and in a two-part kind of a fold, <laughs> my hand is in the way, um, uh, first fold it up like this so that it's fitting in that little triangular space, and then fold it over again like that. And then you, you're going to take the um, underneath one that has been exposed and fold that up now, that little point, and it will fit nicely right into that little triangle. And the last two little folds that you're going to do uh, are really to make creases in this that will help us open this up in the next step. So you're going to fold over this top triangle and make a really, a really good crease on that and open it back up and then fold also this piece up and make a really good firm crease in that and bring it back down so that you're prepared now 
for the next step, which is us for, we're going to be opening this up into our painter's hat. So let's open this up. Um, this part here is going to become the top of your cap. And if you, I'm going to hold it this way and open it up. You're opening it up and flattening out that top part. Like so. There you go. Here's the little flap. And we're really holding this at this point, we're holding our hat upside down because this is the top of the hat. And the last little thing that you need to do is to fold this flap inside, reverse it to the inside. So just fold it down, down and inside like that. Okay, so that's inside. And then flip it around. And here's your brim. And it's your little painter's hat. <laughs> like that. So it's really a box with the flap sticking out. There you have it. So that's it, the end of our week. Uh, next week, the first three days of the week, um, we're doing really the same thing. Uh, it's one of these models where you build a piece and then you build the same piece the next day and then the same piece the next day and then we put them all together to create the final model. So I'll be posting a video on Monday and then meet, just uh, meet me back on Wednesday uh, to put together um, the pieces because it'll you'll be basically um, duplicating what you do on Monday two more times so that until you have three pieces and then we're gonna put them together on Wednesday so have a great weekend meet me back here on Monday we'll see what the um, the pieces that we'll be creating and um, then we're gonna do three of those same things meet back on Wednesday to put them all together so but uh, we have a weekend to enjoy before then, so uh, have a nice one, and I'll see you back here on Monday. Bye.